Thank you, Santa. We can hear you now. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't realize I was muted. Thank you. All right, now I can check my video. All right, welcome to everyone who's on Facebook as well. And Chantel said she could hear me, so hopefully I'm good to everyone on Facebook as well. I decided to use a little Bluetooth device to see if you could uh, hear my voice a little more clearly or at least get rid of the background noise. The cicadias are pretty loud out here. So for those of you on Facebook who are here and ready uh, or wanting to prepare, making sure you have a prop like a block or a dirty box back this side. And that is to be placed behind you just to remind you of good posture. The block will also be used um, as we progress into the practice today. Uh, we'll be using that on the floor possibly for some gentle twists and uh, maybe even in pigeon pose at the end for stretching. Uh, one other prop that's very useful to most people is a strap. It can be a belt, so just an old belt that you don't care about. You can use a, a rope even that's not very abrasive. Um, yoga straps are ideal, and resistance bands are ideal. A lot of people like to use resistance bands. If you've got a PT and maybe they've given you one, then a resistance band can be very useful. Let me turn the volume down on this. And we will start in a couple of minutes. Yeah. So who do we have here? Welcome, Catherine. Also, making sure you have a um, some water, depending on where you're at. If you're in a warmer location, uh, hydrating is really important, especially on hot, humid days that we've been having here in Hampton Roads. Hello. Hello, Angie. Hello, Gucci. Hey. Hello. I'm getting ready. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. We've got a couple of minutes. So. I'm a little bit late. <laughs> right. We have we have a couple of minutes. Don't worry. Okay. No, no need to rush. I'll start right at 11. Is this good? I can see you. I can All see right, you. Good. Mm. Is it shining behind? Behind me? I'm in my normal position, so you should be able to see me. There shouldn't be any glares in here, it's all covered, other than the reflection in the sliding glass door. I don't have my earbuds on today, I forgot them. Have, have I got time to put my earbuds on? You all can start without me, but I can hear you better with them. With the earbuds, yes. A lot of times the earbuds help. So I've got some earbuds in today, hoping that the microphone will help to uh, take out any background. Okay. 
And this might even be a time if you wish to put on some gentle music that you can always put on some of your own gentle music. I have some on here, but I think with the earbuds, you probably won't hear it. So you're welcome to always have your own music to, uh, to help you through the practice, to help calm the mind. All right, so it's 11. So welcome to Chair Yoga. Welcome to your practice, accepting where you are today. So knowing what you've been through even in the past day or two, and knowing that you know if you've been at home and not moving much, then just take it a little bit easier. And make sure you have water. Make sure you have your props. Again, if you have a block or a box, to a sturdy pillow even will help placing it behind you so that you remind yourself of good posture, sitting up tall. Having a strap helps um, when we do some of our stretches. It could be a belt or a resistance band. So again, having these props is very helpful, but not utterly necessary. So you do what you can do with what you have. And again, there's no need to rush out and buy anything. If you want something, maybe order it online. If you're Amazon Prime, free shipping, something like that. Um, whatever works for you, or if, um, or if maybe you have family with you that might have something you can borrow. But no need to rush out and get anything for this class. So let's begin. Making sure your chair is firmly onto the floor and your feet can be placed onto the floor, right? adjusting yourself, even moving forward slightly, sometimes helps for the feet to be planted more firmly onto the floor, and just adjusting your block however you need to, or your prop behind you. Sitting up tall, lifting up through the top of your head and shoulders back. Let me move sideways. And you'll notice there should be a gentle curve of your lower back, shoulder blades are back, and the top of the head is up. Lifting up. I'm going to mute for now, everyone. Nice, you just hear me. All right, so sitting up tall, lifting the top of the head, feeling the extension of your core, and pressing the feet into the floor. Your knees are right over the ankles. And press the feet into the floor. Notice the engagement of the leg, the engagement of your abdominal muscles, your lower back. Lifting up through the torso, feel the energy, the awareness that comes sitting up tall. Shoulders back, arms come out to the side and slowly lifting them up, extending through the fingertips. Exhaling slowly, palms down onto your side and lift up through the heart. Breathe. Slowly begin to relax the hands, either palms up or down, however you're feeling today. Allowing yourself any mudra you wish, peace mudra, meditation mudra, palm upon palm, and thumbs come together. Begin to close the eyes gently. And if more comfortable, just gazing down at the floor. Listening to the air flow in through the nose, cool. Exhale. The same gentle sound. Yet the air is warm and humid. 
focusing on this breath, breathing in slowly, exhaling deeply, slowly out through the nose. Noticing on your inhale, the rising of your chest, the extension, lifting of the abdomen. Exhaling, feeling the chest drop, belly button pressing back. Removing all of your thoughts. Directing your mind inward. Acknowledging where you are today. For all we have is today. So we make the best of what we have here and now. Finding acceptance and peace today in this practice. Focusing on your breath. Maybe setting an intention for yourself, for someone else, or for a special purpose today. It can be a word that you remind yourself of your intention, a word like courage, peace, love, tolerance. hope. Knowing that the breath is the most important part of the practice. It is primary to any postures that we do. There should be no pain. If you notice pain, know that this is your body communicating with you to back off with just modify. Not accepting the pain, dealing with the pain. Inhale through the nose, arms come out, reaching up, deep breath in, extending through the fingers. If you have any shoulder issues today, you can always bend the elbows. Exhale, palms come down onto the lap, extending through the elbows up to the shoulders, heart lift, chin drops down, exhale as you do. Inhale to the opposite shoulder, breathing slowly, exhaling chin to chest, and inhaling to the other shoulder, never holding the breath, always allowing the breath to move with ease, exhaling to center, inhaling to a shoulder. Focusing on the breath, moving with it gently, 
rotating for a couple of cycles on your own. Inhale, lifting up the chest, shoulders back, arms come up, deep breath in, fingertips point together, and elbows come out to the side. Feel the shoulders gently working here, and slowly one elbow up, creating a wave shape to the other elbow. Continue to move, slowly, good posture, breathing. Cracking, popping of joints is fine as long as there's no pain. So noticing if you are feeling the shoulders pop, elbows pop, so this is okay. And reverse, bringing up the opposite elbow and then the other. Or quickly, making the wave shallow or deep. Listening to the body. Moving and breathing. Warming up the shoulders, breathing and slowly coming to stillness. Holding the fingertips together and bringing the palms together, pressing the elbows apart, trying to keep the forearms where they are, press the wrists down, stretching through the carpal tunnel, through the wrist. It's okay if the wrist, if the uh, lower palm comes apart. Inhale, lifting up, and then bring the fingertips away from you and down towards the floor as much as possible. Always listening, breathe. Noticing here the gentle twist, try and bring the shoulders away from the ears and lift up. Again, trying to keep the forearm, the elbow where it is, and lift up on the wrist. Breathe. Exhale down, gently bring fingertips up, and press the wrist down towards the floor. Breathe. Elbows, find stay still. Find stillness here, breathing. Inhaling up. Lifting up, extending again, the elbows bend to your shoulder as you say, extending out, press the palms out, then and press the elbows back so the hands are behind you. Breathe, exhale, come forward, palms come together, and then press the wrists out, palms away from your shoulders down. Breathe, feel the shoulder blades separate. Inhale, lifting up, breathing, maybe remembering your intention. Exhaling, hands come down by the side, lift up through the heart, breathe. You're going to bring the right arm up, extending, left hand down, opening through the chest. Breathe. Again, you can always bend the elbow if you need to. Exhale, inhale, opposite side, left arm up, right arm down. Breathe. Exhale, hands down, shoulders back. Lift up the chin, slight back bend. Inhale, tall, arms come up. And palms together, maybe Clasping the outer three fingers, pointer fingers, reaching up and slowly make gentle circles around the waist, the upper body, trying to keep the head between the arms as you rotate. We're working and stretching the lateral line. Breathe. Inhale, lifting up, hold it here. Exhale, side bend to the right. You can drop the right arm if you'd like, and then reach over with the left. Press your feet to the floor. Breathe. Inhale, 
Inhale, tall, bending up, exhaling over to the left. Right arm reaches over, breathe. Don't hold the breath, remember it must flow effortlessly. Inhaling up, I'm gonna add these directions. So think of yourself against an imaginary wall, sliding your back against it, trying to keep your left arm up over the head. Breathe, you can drop the right arm down or for a more muscular experience, extending both arms, press both feet to the floor. Feel the energy, feel the rooting through the feet. Inhale, lifting up, breathing, exhaling over to the left. Again, think of the imaginary wall, sliding your shoulders, shoulder blades up again. Even think of your elbow pressing back. You can always drop that left arm and support your torso as you tire. Inhale, lift up, reaching up, deep breath in. Exhale, arms come out, extending, breathing. Holding here, toning the arms. And gently inhale, arms come up and twist to the right. Left arm comes to right thigh, right hand to the chair, lifting tall, breathing, head comes back, looking back. Holding. Inhaling, unwinding, reaching up, realign the spine, and exhale to the left. Breathe. Again, right hand onto the left side, lifting up to the top of the head. Good posture, long spine. Think of each vertebrae decompressing by your will. Muscles lifting. Inhale, unwind, realign the spine. Exhale, come forward to prepare posture. Arms come out, swan dive, hands to knees, and then gently. Side to side, notice how your lower back feels. Deep breath in. Maybe get your block and find it placed underneath your torso or head. On the highest level to begin, deep breath in, prepare posture. We're going to twist one more time, but in a more vertical position. And placing your left hand onto the block, Bring the right hand to the right knee and begin to bring the heart towards, facing it towards the right side. Finding this twist gently through the waist, through the wrist. Maybe your right hand comes to the right hip. Lifting up, maybe the right shoulder higher, stacking over the left. Lifting up the right arm, possibly, or keeping it down by the head or binding it to your lower back. Listening to the body, knowing you can adjust and modify as you feel necessary. Inhale, deep breath in, begin to unwind. Maybe bringing right hand to the knee, realigning the spine. Or so, still somewhat horizontal to the floor, parallel to the floor. Right hand comes to the block, left to the knee. And here, begin to maybe slide the left hand to the left hip. Feel the left shoulder reaching up. Holding it here. Breathe. Maybe lifting that left arm up, so as long as the shoulder, that shoulder's back over the right. Breathe. And exhale, bring the hand down if it's up, or 
lower bound and down to the knee. Both hands on the knees, prepare posture. Press the feet to the floor, arms come out. We're gonna come up, reverse swan dive, lifting up. Standing, looking at your hands, gentle back bend, and hands come down to the chair. Press your feet into the floor, good posture, maybe bring that block back. And begin to lift the right heel. Press that left leg to the floor. Core is engaging here, helping to lift the leg. Quads are working, point left. And rotate all the way around. Breathe. Again, crushing, popping can be normal. There's no pain. Reverse all the way around. Breathe. Press through the heel and back down. Lifting up tall. Just noticing if you Started to come down, lift up to the heart, and press that right foot to the floor, left heel presses out, point and flex. Breathe, core is engaging, belly button pressing back towards the spine, but never hindering your breath. Rotate. Breathe. Reverse the rotation. And press through the heel, exhale down. Opposite limb extensions, right arm comes up. Exhale down, left arm comes up. And holding it here, we're gonna extend through the right heel. Breathing, holding. Toning the core, toning the arm, toning your leg. Extend out to the side. Right arm can help support the leg or the torso by holding onto the chair. Try and keep your left leg in line. Knee over ankle, like we began, properly sitting. Holding, lifting up through the torso. Coming back to center. Exhale down. Right arm up, pressing up, press the left heel out again. Good alignment of your right knee over the ankle. Extending out to the side, breathe. Holding it here. Inhaling up, expand it, breathe. Arms come up, reach up, exhale out to the side, and down. Bring the, hand, the feet apart as wide as you can. As long as the knees, again, are in alignment. Deep breath in, core is in, shoulders back, arms come up. Press the knees back, exhale, elbows, knees, press back into God. Pressing up, right knee, heels up off the floor. Exhale it down. Left knee, left heel is off the floor. Breathe, continue, right, hold, left, hold. Continue one more time. Working the calves here, extending through the shin. Left heel up, breathe, back down. Both at the same time. So really keep the knees pressing back, elbows pressing back. Again, you can always drop the arms if you're fatiguing. As long as you can breathe effortlessly. Inhale through the nose, heels come up. Holding it here. Breathing. Exhale it down. Inhale, temple. Exhale, all the way down. Read that. Notice how the hips feel. We're going to do some windshield wipers. So just noticing the hips. 
Moving knee, one knee down, then up. Opposite knee down, lifting up. Breathing. Shoulders up and back. Bring the knees together. We're going to work on some hip work. Arms come up. Exhale. Bring the right arm underneath the left and maybe clasp the shoulder. Holding it. Or maybe bringing the forearms together. Maybe the palms will face each other. Maybe try to clasp. Bring the elbows up. Feel the stretch through the shoulders as you press. The elbows away from the heart. Exhale, bring the elbows in towards the heart, bring them down. Bring the left foot in slightly, and the right knee comes up, crosses over. Breathe. Pointing the toe, reaching to the floor. Maybe trying to reach to the ankle. Maybe your left heel will reach up and your right might come around. Breathe. Try and keep the knee in center, so midline of the body. So not out to the side, but center to the body. Elbows are center to the body. Shoulders are square to your front wall. Press that left foot into the floor. Breathe. Inhale, unwind. Arms come up. Reach up. Grab the chair or, the, or your knee. And begin to unwind, lifting up and around. Again, one modification that I didn't mention is using a block. And you can have that put onto the block. And that helps to support the leg and keep it on something firm helps to support the whole posture. So you can place that to the other side if you think it may help. If you have one, a blanket, a prop, whatever it is that you might have. Arms come up, lift up, good posture. Exhale, left arm under the right, crossing at the elbows, maybe catching shoulders. You might stay right here. This is evil. Or your arms might come closer together, forearms. Breathing, maybe the palms will look at each other, maybe they'll clasp and lift the elbow, reaching elbows away from the heart, feel the stretch through the shoulder blades. Exhale, bring the elbows down towards the heart, heart is lifting, good posture. Press your right foot in slightly to center of your body. Lift up the left and cross over. Maybe this will find that block. Or your toe can reach closer towards the ankle and just reach down. We're stretching through the hip, opening up your SI joint. Maybe your right foot can reach up, heel up, and then the left foot might wrap around. Breathe. Feel good posture, lift up nice and tall, press your right foot to the floor. Breathe. Inhale, lift up the elbows, unwind, reaching up. Exhale, down, unwind the legs. You can always use the arm, hands to support and come around. Breathe, shake it out. Press your feet into the floor. Sit up tall. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Pressing the fingers to the floor. Knees are over the ankles, adjust as you need to. Take a peek, make sure you know where they're at. Really press the feet to the floor. Toes come up, feel the engagement of your shins, your calves. Quadriceps are engaging and engage your glutes, helps to lift the torso. Breathe, hands come down. So you have that opposite effect. Keeping the engagement, relax the toes. Arches are in still engaged. Breathe. Feel the core working here. Feel the heart lifting. 
Tadasana is a foundational pose. You'll find it in every pose that we do. That is strength requires strength, requires balance and stability. Even if you're on one leg in tree pose, you will have this engagement. Inhale, arms come up, reaching up. Exhale, come forward, prepare posture, side to side, strong legs, forward fold. Again, you can use a block and stay in prepare posture. Or you can widen the legs if you'd like and slowly lower the head. Lower than the heart. Again, any heart issues, keep the head in line with the heart or even above it. Breathe, feeling the stretch through your back. Try and keep the tailbone pressing towards the back of the chair as your head begins to relax closer to the floor, allowing the neck to relax, the shoulders to relax. Breathe. Breathe through the nose, deeply, slowly. Your breath helps to control the circulation of blood to the head, helps to balance it, so it's not rushing into the head. Inhale, slowly lifting up to prepare posture. Use a block again as you need. Hands come to knees, side to side. Inhaling up, lifting up. Exhale, palms down to your knees. And gently lift the heart. Give a nice curve of your lower back. Bending the elbows slightly into cobra, I do. Have a gentle curve of the back, heart is lifting, elbows are by the ribs. Breathe, feet, find those Tadasana legs, strong legs, inhale, lift, up nice and tall, arms are extended. Exhale, elbows come to your side, palms are down. Think again, lift the heart, still bending the back, stretching the front of your body. Inhale, lifting up, deep breath in, arms come up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold if you have a prop. Use it on the floor and find prepare posture. Bring the prop as far forward as your fingertips can reach and allow the head to come through the arms into a modified down dog. Feel a gentle stretch through the shoulders. Breathe, allow the head to relax through the arms. Taking a deep breath in, lift the head, looking up at your block, your fingers, bring the block closer, lifting up the torso, breathe. In this position, we're going to do cat and cow, slight modification from what we normally do with hands on thighs. So if you have a block, please use it or a prop. If you don't and are reaching the floor, then do this on your knees. So allowing the hands to come to knees and slowly coming into cat. By pressing belly button back, shoulders come forward, chin comes to chest using the block. Same idea, chin to chest, belly button back, but you have more extension through the arms. Breathe, inhale, allow the belly to drop. Lifting the chin, if you're using the block, you'll feel your lower back drop. If you're using the chair, hands come to the back of the chair, lifting the heart, you feel a gentle 
curve of the back is then lift parallel to the floor. Breathe slowly at your own pace, inhaling to neutralize the spine, exhaling to come into cat or cow. Use the breath to move into one or the other, cat or cow. A lot of spine and hip work today. After your next cow, come into a neutral spine, nice long spine, and come to your knees and slowly lift up into neutral spine. Breathe. Arms come up, reaching up. Exhale, grabbing the chair, bringing the feet slightly closer together, maybe about six inches, and pressing into chair pose. I want you first to engage your quadriceps, engage the heels into the floor. Maybe use a block underneath you if you lift up your glutes from the chair and put that block underneath them for support. If you don't need it, you have the strength in the legs to hold, please do. Shoulders up and back, heart lifting. Press the heels to the floor, engaging the legs and glutes, and lift up. Use your hands to help support. You can immediately bring the block underneath the glutes, or just use the arms to support. Feel the strength in your quadriceps. Feel them work here. Hold here. Breathe. There should be no pain in the knees, so be mindful of this. Again, always adjust, modify, use that block to sit on to help reduce pressure on the knee. Exhale, come down, hold shoulders back. Deep breath in, hands come down, place them by the side one more time, and then we're going to come up out of chair. If you need to stay in chair, please do. We're going to do some standing poses. So press those heels into the floor, legs engaged, shoulders back, glutes engaging, and lift up. Use your hands for support. If you feel the strength in the leg, maybe one arm comes up. Hands forward, hard to lift in. Maybe the other hand. Holding here. Maybe you're sitting on that block on the chair. And squeeze the glutes. Drop down an inch. And then slowly lift up, extending up. Remember, elbows can be bent. Exhale, hands down. Again, if you're sitting in chair, do the arm move. Find Tadasana. Breathe, coming to the back of your chair. You know, hold on to the chair. And we're going to gently just rotate the hips, bending one knee at a time. Again, if you're in chair, gently just rotate while seated. Notice the shin comes forward and back. Notice the ankle movement. Notice the footwork. Pressure being placed on heel, sides of the foot, palm of the foot. Feel the hips rotate. Now reverse the rotation. Standing or seated. Breathe. Trying to be good. Spinal alignment. Nice and tall. And lifting up. Reach up at the top of the head. This might be a good time to get a little bit of water. We're going to come into tree pose. But first, chair, holding here. Again, if you're in chair, do the chair pose. Use the block to support you. We're going to press the heels to the floor, shoulders up and back, and bring the tailbone down. Think of yourself gently pressing the tailbone back, heart still lifting. Knees should not have any pain. 
You can always come up and out of this, find a resting position if you're finding yourself with any pain in the knees. Good alignment, knees are in alignment with the feet, right? not splayed out or in. Holding it here and exhale, squeeze just a little bit more, going deeper, finding those quads, really engaged. So important to have strong legs for stability, strong hips for stability. Lift up, reach up, hold Tadasana. Arms come up, exhale down, and deep breath in. Find the Tadasana. Even if you're in chair, Tadasana legs, hold the chair if you're standing. Bring the chin slightly forward so you're not locking the knees. Slightly forward with the shin so you have a slight bend. Beautiful. Core is in, tailbone gently engaged in, glutes are engaged, shoulder blades are back, heart lifting. Tree pose, left leg, find more weight on that left leg. Again, don't lock the left knee and begin to lift the right heel. Core is engaging, lifting maybe the knee up. You can always have a block right underneath you. If you want to lift the foot and just keep it on a block, but still have the leg lifted. Looks like this. Breathe for those who are not using the block. Or if you'd like to use the block and bring the knee out, exhaling as you do. Same thing in chair. The leg, if you're sitting, comes out to the side and just stays put. Maybe the toes on the floor or a block. Breathe. Find a spot below or above the knee and keep that knee out. We're really opening up the hips here. At the same time, we have balance on the left leg. Core is engaging like Tadasana. Even if you're in chair, keep the core engaged. And maybe lifting up one arm, releasing up. In chair. Do the arm work. Maybe bend elbows if you have any issues with shoulders. Hold here. Breathe. Smile. Enjoy this. Have fun with it. If you come out, if you have to step out of it, come back in when you're ready. Keep the hips engaged. Keep the core engaged. Exhale and come down. Hold that chair. Knee comes in and dropping it down. Again, each side can be very different. So knowing this, adjusting to this. Shoulders up and back, Tadasana. Pressing more weight onto your right leg. Knee slightly bent, don't lock the knee. Left heel lift, breathe. Maybe lift the knee up, holding the chair. Feel the glutes engaging, core is engaging, and exhale out to the side. Maybe using that block right underneath by your ankle. And helping this, this may help to stabilize you. Or if you find you can press that left foot into the side of your calf or ankle or maybe toes on the floor, lifting up through the torso. Feel the strength in your right hip. Maybe one arm comes up, three, maybe the other. Find a focal point for balance. You can do this, smile, have fun with it. Accept where you are. Breathe. Arms can be down if you'd like in prayer. Or holding the chair. If you're in chair, keeping that leg out strong. Glutes are still engaged. Arms are lifted. Breathe. Inhale, bring that left knee back in. Exhale it down, shake it out. Breathe. Facing your chair. Lifting up, heels up. Even if you're in chair, feel that stretch, bring it back down. 
take a step back, exhale, bring the head through. If you are sitting in chair, do down dog, modified in chair, with the block as far forward as you can, bringing fingertips, maybe the entire finger or palm onto the block and bring the head through, stretching, extending one knee at a time if you're standing, feeling the stretch through the hamstring. Breathing. Feel the stretch through the shoulder. Focus on the breath. Bending both knees. Exhale up. Inhale, bend both knees if you're standing. Exhale, stretch them both. Inhale, lift the torso, walk forward. Shoulders up and back. All right, we're going to come into our chair. Again, this might be a spot you might want a little bit more water. Take a peek at everyone. Real quick, see if everything's going all right. Okay, good. Sitting back, finding your Tadasana in chair. Again, feel the strength through the legs, through the quadriceps, the glutes. Feel that gentle lift as the glutes are engaged. Arms come up. Deep breath in. Exhale, arms come down. Finding your strap. We're going to stretch out the arms first and then the legs. Nice deep breath in, inhaling up, lifting, noticing the distance between your hands, how the shoulders are feeling, trying to keep the arms fairly straight, and exhaling to the right, moving, breathing good, inhale, lifting up, exhaling to the left. Good. Breathing, not holding the breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Maybe increasing the distance between the hands. We're going to try and go further back. Inhaling, lifting up. And maybe exhaling further back towards the back of your chair. Breathe. Take your time. Notice the breath. Really notice the breath here. This is where some people like, well, I like to hold my breath sometimes when I'm having a very stiff shoulder day. Inhaling, lift up, reach. Exhale through that hardest part. See if you can relax those muscles to bring them around. Breathe, take your time. And come forward. Ooh, feel the relief. Relax the hands, breathe. Shoulders up and back. And inhale, lift up your right knee. Squeeze that right knee in. Out to the side. In, deep breath in. And slowly, we're going to go ahead and just come straight into pigeon today. So that right ankle might reach the side. Otherwise, you have a block or a prop, pillows, whatever it is you need. And you can place it onto a prop. If you can, angle onto the thigh. 90 degree angle with the foot helps protect the knee. You should have no pain or just for, for uh, any sensitivity you might have in the knee. You might even bring it to the block if that helps to relieve sensitivity in your knee. Deep breath in, lifting up, and hinging at the hip, exhale. Oh. Think of eyes looking down as the head reaches forward, maybe grabbing the chair and pressing the tailbone back. Feel the stretch through the spine. Again, thinking of each vertebra. Opening up, decompressing, stretching, allowing fluids to come in, loosening up your muscles, your joints, lifting up slowly, take your time. Reaching up, exhale, 
And back to that leg, maybe grab the lower leg, lifting up just ever so slightly, whatever your body allows, moving it, and extending out and down. Maybe having a block ready, maybe the other side is stiff today, you know it. Otherwise, shoulders up and back. Press that left knee in, squeeze it in, moving the femur and the hip joint gently, maybe a rotation, breathing, and finding the pigeon on this side again on a block, or maybe your left ankle onto your right thigh, lifting up tall when you're ready, 90 degree angle. Notice, shouldn't have any major sensitivity in your knee, adjust or sensitivity, hinging at the hip, exhale, forward, breathe, effortless breathing. Maybe holding the chair, eyes look down, top of the head reaching forward, and you're pressing that tailbone towards the block or the back of your chair. Again, think of each vertebrae opening up. Notice how the hip feels on this side, holding it, stretching. You can always be dynamic, but breathe. Deep breath in, slowly coming up, reaching up at the top of the head. Bring that knee in, maybe lift the lower leg, move it around again. And extend it out, feel that stretch point. Flex and drop it down. Arms come up, find your tadasana. Exhale, extend, find the awareness, find how awake you are now. Arms come up, exhale, palms up, place onto your lap, finding your shavasana. Coming back to your natural rhythm of breath. Accepting your practice today with gratitude, with joy. The moments that we have, using them wisely, listening for ourselves, being good listeners for others. We are all a community. We all work together. Whether we want to or not. The better we work together, the more we work together, the stronger we are. Gently closing your eyes. Coming back to your intention. Inhale it in. Exhale. All oh, that is of no use to you. Worries. Things that are out of your control. Release them. Deep breath in and exhale everything out of the mouth. 
One more time. Inhale in. Feel the shoulders drop. Feel the body relax. Arms come up, reaching up. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle your toes. Exhale, bring the palms down into prayer. In comes the chest, stretching the last bit through the cervical spine. Inhale, lift the chin. I thank you for coming today, practicing with me, allowing me to guide you, but knowing that you are your main guide. Learning to listen to our body, to accept where we are today, and to know that even as an individual, we are part of something greater, a community, here to help each other, to serve, to find peace. And that starts with each and every one. Remembering to think kind thoughts, speak kind words, and do kindly. The light in me sees and honors that light in each and every one of you, that peace that each of you can offer. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Let me unmute you. Thank you, everyone.